This is a video of Dathan Ritzenhain running on the Nike campus. This is back in October 2009, when Dathan had been training with Alberto. And one thing you can see in this clip is how he's carrying his arms. Uh, Dathan used to run with his hands down by his hips, so his forearms were almost parallel to the ground. And now you can see that his fists are up a lot higher. Alberto described this as going nipple to nipple, and he meant that you want your left fist to be in front of your left nipple and your right fist to be in front of your right nipple. You don't want them to be higher or lower or to swing any farther across the body. And in that position, he says, all the forces are directed along the right trajectory. He looks quite graceful. Um, the first time I watched him do laps, he just seemed to have this floating stride that looked effortless. So the really big changes to Dathan's form uh, didn't happen until Dathan went down to Texas to see Lance Walker. All right, when you're ready. The first thing Lance did was film Dathan sprinting across a section of track, and then he froze the video at different points. In this frame, we're looking at Dathan and also the great Ethiopian racer, Kenanisa Bekela, in what's called the early stance. That's the instant their foot first strikes the ground. And what you see is that Dathan is landing with his foot out in front of his body. Uh, the angle of his shin relative to the ground is past the vertical. It's at 93 degrees. Dathan can't push off that leading foot while it's still out in front of his body, so he has to wait until his hips come over it, and that slows him down. And Bikili, you can see in this shot, he has his foot actually directly under him. His shin angle's at 82 degrees, so he's able to push off much more quickly. And now the young man struts for home. Has Gabriel this next shot is at a position known as toe-off, uh, which is when the runner's foot is just leaving the ground. For a marathon runner, the amount of space between the front and back leg is known as the hip separation. And for an elite racer, it should be around 90 to 100 degrees. And you want that much because hip separation increases the length of your stride so you can cover more ground. And you can see that Bikili has much better hip separation than Dathan does here. He has 98 or 99 degrees compared to 88 degrees for, for Dathan. What'll be interesting to see is whether all these changes to Dathan's form actually make him a faster runner. His goal right now is the New York City Marathon, but after that he's hoping to compete in the Olympic Marathon in London in 2012. 